back to Bochinada, Bochinada.com. My name is Nicole. In today's tutorial, we'll be going over a ladder strap plant hanger pattern. So a few days ago, I released a step-by-step -step knot tutorial on how to make the ladder strap knot. And for those of you who have missed it, I'll place a link to that in the video description below, but also up at the top here. So what we're going to do is apply that knot pattern we learned and incorporate it into a plant hanger pattern today. And this is what we're going to be making today. You can see that the ladder strap knot pattern is kind of like a chain-like pattern. So this is a very minimalistic and simple design. I added a 19 centimeter metal ring here just to expand the bottom part so that it can hold a larger pot. I also made the ladder strap pattern a little longer so that the plant has room to grow. So although this design is very simplistic, the ladder strap knots can be very complicated to make at first. So if you are a beginner, I would recommend you practicing this knot several times before attempting this pattern. You also don't need a small ring at the top. I'm going to show you guys how to make a square knot pattern in the center of the cords. So to make a little loop and ring to hold the plant hair. So just wanted to let you guys know that if you're interested in more tutorials like this, I do release an additional unique or advanced macrame tutorial on a platform called Patreon. On a weekly basis, I either release a tip or trick tutorial or a DIY macrame pattern. And once a month, those macrame patterns will be in the form of a PDF pattern with detailed instructions and clear pictures to follow with. So if you guys are interested, please check out the link in the video description below. Alternatively, I do have a structured video macrame course on Udemy and on Thinkific. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, it includes over 40 different videos on starting you from a beginner in macrame, running you through the intermediate patterns and the advanced techniques, all the way to creating your own stunning macrame designs. So if you guys prefer that, you can check out the link in the video description below. Please don't forget to click like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to stay tuned for future videos, then click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. Thanks and let's begin! Before we begin, you will need some materials and supplies. I've chosen to use a 3mm cotton cord for this pattern, as well as a 19cm metal ring. For this pattern, you can use any size of metal ring. I've chosen to use a larger, a 19 centimeter diameter one, just because I want to fit a larger pot. So the pot I can fit can be up to 18 centimeters in diameter. So if you want to hold a smaller pot, you can use a smaller ring. The cord that I have chosen to use for this pattern is a three millimeter single strand cotton cord in sand beige from my rainbow cord line. This cord is easy to macrame with because it does hold its structure well and it also fringes very beautifully. If you guys are interested in the same kind of cord that I'm using, you can check out the link in the video description below. To begin, start by cutting 8 strands of cord at 400 centimeters long each. We're going to start in the very middle and make a series of square knots. So make sure that you've marked where the middle spot is for all the cords. Then taking a strand of cord at 110 centimeters long, in the middle we're going to start making a series of square knots. So taking the right cord through to the back and through the left loop, we're going to tighten, then finish with another half knot, the left cord over to the back and through the right loop and tighten. So this is one square knot. We're going to repeat another square knot slowly and then complete the rest of the pattern. Take the left cord over to the right, then take the right cord over that cord through the back and through the left. Then repeat on the opposite sides. Okay. 
and you have now completed your second square knot. Continue this pattern for another 8 square knots so that you have a total of 10 square knots in the center. Once you've made a total of 10 consecutive square knots, we're going to make a loop with the square knot pattern and then using the working cords that we were using to make the square knots, we're going to make one large square knot. So taking all the cords as anchor cords, we're going to use the same working cords, but wrap all the cords in the center when making this large square knot. Then taking a strand of cord at 40 centimeters long, we're going to make a gathering knot at the bottom. So taking one end, make a loop, and take the long end and start wrapping it around underneath the square knot pattern several times, making sure that you hold on to the loop and you can still see it. Once you've wrapped it around several times, we're going to take that long end and weave it through the loop at the bottom. And then we're going to pull on that top end to tighten the gathering knot. Once the knot is complete, cut off the excess cord at the top and the bottom. Also cut off the excess cord from the working cords used to make the square knots from before. Now what we're going to do is separate the vertical cords into four groups of two cords each and we're going to make a series of ladder strap knots. The ladder strap knot is a more complex knot. It does take some practice to get used to. So if you have never made the ladder strap knot before, I would recommend that you check out my step-by-step -step ladder strap knot video first. Practice the knot several times before trying it in this tutorial. If you guys want to go ahead and do that first and come back to this video, check out the link in the video description below or I will post the video in the suggestions box up, up at the top here. So all we need to do is start off with one group of two side-by-side -side vertical cords and we're going to start making our first ladder strap knot pattern. Start by taking the right cord from behind over to the left and then back over to the right with a loop and then underneath the vertical cord to the left. Then we're going to hold this pattern. Make sure that you have a loop at the very top because that is where our cord is going to wrap around several times. So we're going to take that vertical cord and weave it through from bottom up through that hole at the top. Making sure that the cord is nice and snug and wrapped around. Then we're going to weave it through that same hole two more times through the back. Now 
making sure that it wraps around the back and then all the way to the front. Once you have brought it over the third time, we're going to take that cord end and we're going to weave it through that loop, that tiny loop onto the side on the right from top down. Once you have pulled the cord through the loop, you will have to shift the knot and the wrapped cords so that they are even and that the cords on the sides have enough space and are evenly spaced out. Once the first ladder step has been completed, we're going to add another one right below in a step-by-step -step slower version. You can see on the front of the cord we have two cords on the wrap knot but if you turn it around there's three cords on the back side. So repeating this knot the second time we're going to take the right cord over to the left again and then back over to the right with the loop and then taking the vertical cord over top as we're going to use that to, to wrap around three times again. So taking the cord end, we're going to hold that knot at the front and we're going to weave it through from back to the front in the top hole. And we're going to do this three times. Then take that same cord end and weave it through the right loop from top down. Shift and adjust the knot so that it is evenly spaced out from the last knot. I have left approximately 2 centimeters of space between the first knot here and the second knot. And if it is too little space or too much space, you can shift around the knots and pull on the cords so that they are either tighter or looser. This is probably the most challenging part of this knot and pattern, so make sure you practice this knot several times before trying to attempt this knot. Repeat these knots onto the same column eight more times so that you have a total of 10 ladder strap knots. Once you have made a total of 10 ladder strap knots, we're going to repeat this on all the other sides. So this is what 10 ladder strap knots look like with approximately two centimeters of space in between each knot. And so we're going to take the next two cords that are side by side together and repeat this pattern for 10 more knots. And we're going to repeat this for a total of four times so that we have these chain-like patterns on four separate straps. So I'm going to walk you through the start of the second ladder strap by making the first knot.
Then finish off this strap with 9 more ladder strap knots. This is what the finished second strap should look like. Repeat these straps two more times on the remaining two sides. So once you do have all four straps, what we're going to do is add five more down on each four sides. So we have a total of 15 ladder strap knots on each strap. The reason for this is I wanted a longer strap on all four sides so that we can hold a plant hanger that sticks up more. So we want to leave enough space for larger plants. If you're planning to use a very small plant, then you can stick with the 10 knots here and then continue on with the next step after that or add a few more knots like I'm going to do here. So once you have a total of 15 ladder strap knots on all four sides, we're now ready to attach these straps onto the metal ring. So we're going to place the macrame through the metal ring and then on each strap, we're going to attach it onto the metal ring using double half inch knots. So making sure that the strap is facing the right direction, that it's facing outwards, we're going to take the two cords at the bottom and attach it onto the ring using double half inch knots. So starting with the left cord, make a half inch knot and then another half inch knot for a double half inch knot. Then repeat the same thing with the right cord. I'm taking the next then taking the next strap over, we're going to repeat the same thing, but on the next 90 degree corner and make two double half inch knots. Then we're going to take the remaining two ends and finish off the four corners. And so this is what the finished pattern should look like once you have all four straps attached onto the metal ring into four separate corners. Then the very last step is we're going to hold the cords at the bottom and we're going to make one last gathering knot to seal the bottom. Holding the cords, we're going to take one last strand of 40 centimeter cord and make a gathering knot. So we're going to take the long cord end and wrap it around the gathered cord several times before placing it through the loop to tighten the knot.
Once the knot is complete, cut off the excess cords. And we're going to hold the plant hanger up and straighten out the bottom cords underneath the gathering knot. So if there are uneven strands, just pull on the cords underneath to straighten them out. This is what the side view of the plant hanger looks like and I'm just going to take my plant pot and place it in just to make sure it fits. And it does fit and it's nice and high. It gives enough space for the plant to grow upwards. If you do need a little bit more space, you can place the gathering knot down a little bit more to allow for some more room for the plant. And so once you have completed the pattern, the very last step is to cut off the excess cord and trim the fringe at the very bottom. And you are now complete with the ladder strap plant hanger pattern. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like this video and click subscribe and turn on your notifications for future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.